Okay, this is going to be a, a video uh, on these subrings uh, built and collected over the last, uh, you know, I don't know, probably since 19, 1993, okay? All right, uh, I did a video probably nine years ago, but the collection's grown. I'll explain what each one of these are. This is a, uh, I'll start with this one. This is a 135th scale uh, Bronco Type 23 U-boat. And these are all, these are 135th, uh, 135th scale, and they're big enough to make them into radio control submarines, which uh, some some of the guys have done and did YouTube videos of. Uh, this was an early, uh, early model I made. Uh, it's a Ravel kit, and I honestly don't remember the scale, but it was one of the small ones that they had made. It was fairly detailed, and one of the, one of the only, uh, submarine kits that were pretty good back in the day all right uh this big type nine up on top i just actually took it to the lake earlier last month and uh this was a hull kit that i got from lee upshaw and i set this thing up to shoot two torpedoes out of the bow this is 136 scale it's uh the model's uh, eight feet long almost to the exactly eight feet long and uh, I don't know if I can get the deck in it. Uh, maybe I can walk that, walk it down to show you what the deck looks like. And it's got a non-scale, but close to scale size uh, deck gun on it. And uh, all the stuff on the conning tower is handmade. Uh, the conning tower just came as a blank, blank piece of fiberglass uh, molding. And you had to build the deck and all the detail that you wanted to put on it. And this was probably a, uh, <clears throat> well, about a two and a half year project off and on. But it needs some trim work. It's been out of the water for so long, I changed the batteries in it. And the batteries, I believe that I replaced it with their sole light compared to the original 12 volt batteries. It didn't have enough weight to submerge it. Okay, where are we at? Okay, this is a, this is a scratch built uh, Type 7, a friend of mine made. I won't use any names because I don't know if anybody wants their name on here, so I'll, I'll keep that private. But uh, he did such an accurate job on this thing. It's in 132nd scale, and it's it's huge, too. It's 7 feet long. It's the uh, same, same scale as uh, a Type 9 on top. But uh, a man over in Germany, I don't know his name offhand. I wouldn't mention it because, like I said, I don't want to put anybody's name on here. But he made a scale, 132nd scale deck, and... Uh, this buddy of mine that made this thing did such an accurate job that this 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 was made here the submarine this deck was made over in Germany and it fit right on this on this model when I got the uh, model it was uh, still full of foam he had made a foam foam plug and fiberglass over it and here's another model down here this is 148 scale and this this model I can't remember top of my head who made it. I mean, who it's made by, I, I built it. I actually got the kit from another another modeler that I traded a, a kit for, and I ended up building this one. And these are actually made for radio control, and uh, but it's not set up for radio control. At some point, I'd like to do that on this one, okay? All right, this one in the middle, this is, uh, this is my favorite. This is a 132nd scale. Uh, Type 2C submarine. I did a couple videos on this one uh, on YouTube. Uh, this guy, it'll fire a single torpedo out of the bow, the lower one. And uh, all these models are they're fairly big. This one weighs about 30 pounds. The one on top weighs about 40 pounds. And uh, yeah, these two are uh, radio controlled. This one here, uh, I made this one. This is all handmade also. This is a Sturgeon class 172nd scale or close to it. I think it's a little bit larger than 172nd scale. And it's set up to run, but uh, when I was trimming it, I think the battery I have in it is actually too big and I can't get enough foam in there to, to get it, uh, give it the proper flotation in it once it's settle on the bottom of my, uh, my test box. Okay, this submarine here is a uh, 172nd scale uh, plastic model kit. That can be converted also to radio control. And uh, there's several of these that have been done that way, and there's all kinds of YouTube videos on it. This one is not. This is uh, just a display model. 
And uh, this particular boat, uh, I also got it from uh, a scale shipyard owned by uh, the Upshaw. It was my first one. It was six feet in length. It was the same type of submarine as what you're looking at here. It looked a lot like this model actually, but it didn't have near the detail on it that this does. I built this one also. And, uh, okay, this Type 7 down here. I have three Type 7s right here. That's my favorite submarine. But this was a 172nd kit that came uh, from the hobby shop when these first came out. I got this up at a local hobby shop. And these can also be converted to radio-controlled models. Okay. This one here is a Mobius Skipjack kit. I just built this one last uh, last Christmas, and uh, this can also be made, and they have been made in radio control. But uh, it takes time and money to make these things in the radio control, so you can't, you don't have time to, or the money to do do a collection like this and make them all working models. But uh, a lot of times, what I'll do is I'll swap one radio from one boat to another, so I'm not, I don't have to buy more than one one radio setup. Okay, and uh, I think that's something. Oh, okay. Well, shoot, I got a couple more over here. And I got a couple uh, about 1 18th scale uh, airplanes hanging from the ceiling. Also, we got a Spitfire over here. I can get that in there. My uncle gave me uh, probably about 13 or 14 years ago. And these are basically they're, they're toys, but they are scale models. They were made to actually be a toy, but they're, they're scale. And this is, a, I put this on another video, this is a poster from a 2005 of a sub regatta in Indiana, Carmel, Indiana. Uh, Tim Smalley made this one up, and he, he actually had a picture of me on there with uh, two of the boats I had at the time. Well, one of them's the big one I up on top here, and uh, it's my Type 2, the one that's below it. And, uh, all right, let me go around here, let's see, I got couple more submarines over here. Okay, this is the Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This one is static. It's all handmade. I built this probably four years ago. And it does have lights on it, but I'm not going to light it up now. And it's a, it's a good size model. It still needs some detailing to, to be complete. I'm going to uh, finish the deck on it. All right. And, uh, the one right below it is also a... Uh, a handmade model. It's balls. This is all balsa wood. A guy I worked with, his dad made this back in about 1979, he said. And I got it and it was all torn up, missing parts, and uh, I just kind of put it back together with uh, just more balsa wood and repainted it. Still needs the, uh, the windows put in it. This is a 3D uh, printed uh, Soviet Alpha 170. I'm sorry, I can't remember the scale on this. I think this is 172nd scale. Worked on that. I got this from a friend of mine, and it was all, all the parts uh, that that are, that were in the box. The they were how they they came to me the way it was came off the printer, and it was really neat. And I just put it all together. This can also be converted to RC. And here's another one. This is a German Type 21, and uh, all these all these boats humping up. So that at some point they could be converted to radio control. I did the outside of it, and I didn't never put the the control surfaces on it. They're, they're inside the model, right? So I don't know, lose them. But anyway, that's uh, that is the submarine collection. Okay, and that's about it. Like I said, I was just doing kind of an update because the last time I did the uh, a video on my submarines was about nine years ago. And uh, there's a good sub uh, subcommittee uh, video on YouTube. If you look up Sub Regatta 94 and 95, uh, there's a lot of good video from Groton, Connecticut uh, with working radio control models. You can see how they, how they run. But anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry this was long. I just want to try to cover all these boats. There's 15 of them total down here. And I still got a couple kits left that uh, aren't even started yet. And uh, getting ready to retire, so that's probably what I'll be doing. Thank you.